sanctions against Iran Euros tilde unacceptable Euros trademark Euros Russia, China. Other SCO nations Euros root news. Keep up with the news by installing party Euros trademark S extension 4. Never miss a story with this clean and simple app that delivers the latest headlines to you. Version. Arabic. Spanish. Russian. Free video. One half three fourths and superscript two. Root Prime. Abruptly. Mobile apps. RSS. Live. Search. Section News. USA. Russian politics. Business. Opus Edge. Envision. In motion. Shows. Bulletin board. More. Home slash. News slash. Sanctions against Iran Euros tilde unacceptable Euros trademark Euros Russia, China, other SCO nations. Published time, September 13, 2013, 1927. Get short URL. September 13, 2013. Russian President Vladimir Putin, back center, at an extended meeting of the Council of Heads of State of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO in Bishkep. RIA no Vorsti slash Michael Clementi F. Download video 17.79 megabytes. Tags Kazakhstan, nuclear, politics, sanctions, security, terrorism. Sanctions against Iran are Euros tilde unacceptable Euros trademark, stated the SCO summit participants. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani said he wants the Euros tilde swift resolution on Euros trademark to the issue of Iran's nuclear program, but will not sacrifice its rights for the sake of a solution. Regarding the Iranian nuclear issue, we want the swiftest solution to it within international norms, said Rubini on Friday at a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin on the sidelines of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO summit in Kyrgyzstan's capital Bishkek. Iran and the P5 plus 1 group, Russia, China, UK, France, the US and Germany, have held several rounds of talks on a range of issues with the main focus being on Iran Euros trademark S nuclear energy program. Some Western countries, mainly United States and Israel presume that the program is aimed at developing nuclear weapons and suggest imposing new sanctions on the Islamic Republic in addition to the existing restrictions on the economy, targeting investments in oil, gas and petrochemicals, exports of refined petroleum products, and others. The SCO is an intergovernmental security organization that was founded in 2001 in Shanghai by China, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. Iran, Afghanistan, India, Mongolia, and Pakistan have observer status. The SCO is primarily focused on its member nation's Central Asian security related concerns, describing the main threats it confronts as terrorism separatism and extremism. Tajikistan will replace Kyrgyzstan as chair of the SCO during the next summit in 2014. Particularly, Israel's ambassador to the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA Ehu Hazlali said on Thursday that the change in Iran's presidency does not mean a change in their nuclear policy, stressing that Tehran continues to seek nuclear arms under its newly elected president Rouhani. However, Iran says its nuclear program is aimed at developing energy and medicine, as the country has the right to use nuclear technology for peaceful purposes. Under the Abishkep declaration signed by the SCO on Friday, the summit member states supported Iran by saying that by Euros the threat of military force and unilateral sanctions against the independent state of Iran are unacceptable. By Euros. Putin backed Iran's nuclear energy program in an address to the SCO saying by Euros that Iran the same as any other state, has the right to peaceful use of atomic energy, including enrichment operations. Euros. Putin said at the meeting with Rouhani on the sidelines of the summit that Iran was a Euros tilde good neighbor Euros trademark adding that Russia hopes for further cooperation with Tehran. The parties stayed away from discussing the issue of constructing a new building at Iran Euros trademark S. Bush Air nuclear reactor site, said Russian presidential spokesman Dmitry Peskov. The construction of Bush Air, the first civilian nuclear plant in the Middle East, was started in 1975 by German companies, however the contract for finishing the plant was signed between Iran and the Russian Ministry for Atomic Energy in 1995. Bush Air nuclear power plant launched in 2011 has no link to nuclear weapons production and cannot be used to develop such technology. Rouhani invited his Russian counterpart to Tehran, Peskov said. On